Hey YouTube, it's Amazing Buys where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and do reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's see what's new at 5 below. So guys, it has been a while since I've been in here. I know they're going to have a lot of items, so I'm going to actually show you guys two different stores just because I haven't been in a while. But they do have some mini Squishmallow, Valentine themed plushies. They have like three different displays, but yeah, they have full-blown put out their Easter items as well as some spring items that I haven't seen before. I've never seen an Oreo Easter egg, but it apparently has a cookie pack in there. I'm guessing these are like mini Oreos, but yeah, they have a lot of new items. I am seeing a couple of sprinkle here and there of some summer items, but overall they are still putting out spring. So they are going to have a lot of sweets, a lot of candies. So make sure you stick around to the end because I am going to do a little haul. Usually I don't do that with Five Below videos, but I'm going to do it for this one because I cannot resist getting some of this stuff. So these are the Easter eggs and some candies that they have. I am noticing that they have some that I haven't seen in Five Below before. They have a whole section dedicated to Peeps <laughs> along with a new flavor. So this is Peeps Delights S'mores. It says that it's dipped in decadent milk chocolate. Unfortunately, I cannot try this because it has gelatin in it, but I'm just letting you guys know that they have this here. So they have the typical Easter bunnies, like chocolates and stuff like that. I did notice they have this Kit Kat lemon crisp, which I think I've tried this before, but I cannot remember. Okay, moving along, they have jelly beans. They always have the Dunkin' ones, but these are big bags. They have the Welch jelly beans that has the raspberry, grapes, you know, the fruity flavors, as well as a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. So typically we see these jelly beans there. They do have these mini purses right next to the rest of the Valentine's Day stuff. So this is pretty much what's left over. They haven't marked it down or anything. They just kind of secluded it to an area. Back to the Easter stuff, they do have quite a bit of Easter baskets. As you can see, there's empty space, so I'm sure they're going to put out more. But these are the plushy Easter baskets. So they have ducks, frogs, mushrooms, and like the typical woven ones as well. Now, I was trying to figure out what this was. These are called flippies, and they feel like they're like full of air. So on the feet, it says squeeze them. And as you can see, depending on which feet you squeeze is depending on what ear moves. They also have a chick one, or is this a duck? I'm going to say chick. So the arms flap in and out. But like, yeah, they have like the Easter eggs and stuff like that. The giant ones to fill up with candies or gifts. They have face masks. And guys, look at this area. There is new body care. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. How long have I been away from Five Below? Because I haven't seen these. Now, they always have different themed eyeshadow palettes. So these, of course, again, they're candy themed. Lucky Charms is cereal. They're pretty much sweet themes. So you have Jolly Rancher. You have Lucky Charms, which we have seen that one before. Maybe in different packaging. And then they have Sour Patch Kids. Of course, these are colorful you know, your reds, your greens. Some of them are like pastel colors. And then you, for the last one, you have ring pop. So these are going for $5. Again, a lot of people use these to uh, fill up gift baskets. Okay, they do have some lip glosses, which you can also find those at Walmart. I'm not sure which one is cheaper. I thought this one was interesting. This is an iced pretzel soap bars, like mini soap bars. Um... I wonder how that smells. Okay, this is what I showed in my short. They have Peeps themed body care. So this is some body scrubs. Um, I think those are both marshmallow scented. This one is marshmallow scented. And to be honest, it was super, super light. It's something that I would personally pass on. They also had a strawberry scented Peeps body spray. I didn't get a chance to smell this one because it was sealed. Okay. Now they have some mini bath treats. So this is bath salts and then they have a bubble bath. So this is mint chocolate chip. Again, I couldn't smell these because these were sealed, but they also have cotton candy. I thought this was neat because this looks exactly like rock candy. It even has it on the stick. And so those are some bath salt sets. And oh my gosh, look at these. So this is bath scrubs and a bath bomb set. 
they uh, have this filled pretty high. So it looks like you get a lot for $5. They also have the lollipop one. So it's cotton candy and lollipop. The bath bomb is on the top. So I really like this. Obviously, the packaging is really cute. I don't know what it smells like, but it does look good. Okay, let's get into the new Scent by Scent body care line. So this is Gummy Bear. I'm so excited to try this. The scent notes for this is cherry jelly, zinky citrus, and juicy fruits. This does smell like gummy bear, but it's really, really light. I feel like as far as the fragrance mist, you can find something better like at Bath & Body Works, but they do have the whipped body butter, which is really good. Now, I did purchase this, and I'm planning on doing a review at the end of this video, and the body wash smells like gummy bear for sure. It's definitely stronger than the body mist. They also have lemon macaron. Now, they do have the body mist as well, but that's going to be in the second store that I'm going to show you. But the body wash does smell pretty strong. So this has notes of zesty lemon, sugared crystals, and sweet meringue. I would say that this smells like a sweet lemon, but it definitely smells like meringue. You can smell the macaron in there as well. Okay, so the last one is cotton candy cupcake. Look at the packaging, guys. We can at least appreciate that. But out of this one, the body wash was the strongest out of the three in this line. And the cupcake, uh, cotton candy cupcake fragrance mist, it did smell like cotton candy. It was just super light. So the notes is fluffy cotton candy, creamy coconut, and vanilla. So like I said, I did get the body butters to all of them. So we will try that at the end. Those are some loofahs. Like I said, it's sweet themed. So you have the cupcake and the bunny. These are some bath bombs and sheet masks. Like I said, all candy themed. This is an activity book that they have. Again, these are like spring and Easter themed. You're going to keep seeing that lemon Kit Kat bar in the back because I did get that. I want to try it on camera for you guys. These are some Peeps plush gift sets. So you have different color Peep bunnies in there. And then you have the candies. I found this. It was kind of near that body care section. But these are some bubble wand fizzers, I guess. They have them in two different scents. These are some new spring socks. And I thought they looked so interesting because they're like mesh, like see-through. But like the pattern on them are really, really cute. So you have that one with the butterflies. You have the smiley face. These are in two packs, by the way. So make sure you turn them around and see the one on the back of them. This section doesn't look like it's fully out because it's pretty empty, but it looks like stuff you would put like in a gift basket. So they have like different characters on there. As you can see, it has the carrot, so it's all spring themed. Now this I thought was interesting. This is also sold at Walmart. So the Calico Critters, they do have like the surprise package where you can get like the characters on there. The rest of this section was pretty much like the surprise bags. And then they have this thing called Cosplaying Ducks. So you have popular characters, but dressed up as ducks, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so this section isn't completely filled out and in stock, but I'm just showing you what they have. They also have some new sunglasses. Usually they bring this around the spring and summertime. So it has like different characters on there. You have a couple of cute puzzles and then... I took me a while to figure out what this was, but it's like slime. So it's supposed to be like a lemonade with the ice on top and it's scented. So that looked pretty interesting. So of course, I have to look at the squishies. These are mini squishy foods. These tubs are going for $5. So you have the fast food, you have your safari animal theme. And I thought these were really cute. I personally wouldn't get this for a baby because he would probably try to eat these. <laughs> but these are fruits. And then the last one they have is sushi themed. So while they are cute, I wouldn't personally get them for that reason. All right. So on the end caps, they do have more candy. Of course, you have your Reese's uh, big eggs that they have every year. These are the new spring tote bags. This is a new outfit. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> It looks a bit weird, but it has like cutouts on the sides. In my store, they had it in pink, green, and black. All right, so these are the rest of the bags that they have out. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this in the last video. They just didn't have the full display out. These are some cute fruit-themed socks. So you have peaches, lemons, orange, strawberries. 
I love fruit. I think these are really cute. I think as far as the socks, the only new thing that I seen was these tube socks that are like the bright pinks and the neon colors. In the hygiene section, I actually found a toothbrush sterilizer. I wonder how well that works. They also have some travel size uh, toothbrushes and an electric toothbrush, which I don't think I've seen before. So guys, you know it is springtime, allergies, pollen is running rampant, at least for us in the south. So I thought this was pretty neat, something just to stick in your bag. They also have these little band-aid and, you know, little kits for you to use. Now look at this. This is a bunny themed silicone travel bottle and it's supposed to be leak proof. It's really, really soft. I really like that. All right, these are the new face masks that they have. Again, you're going to see a lot of candy and sweet themed. I think this stuff we've seen before as far as the bath bombs, but I don't think this particular candy themed face mask. They also have like the under eye gels that you can use and it's the same packaging. So you can give it like as a gift with both of them. These are the new Disney Squishmallows. They also have the Sanrio Hello Kitty characters. So yeah, they didn't have too much in this one, but I'm just showing you like the individual ones that they have. I've seen this before at Five Below and it's really, really cute. They have brought it back. These are pretty much pencil holders. So they have the strawberry milk and orange juice one. In the home decor section, I'm just looking over to see if I see anything new. And at first I didn't see much. They have a lot of pet huts there. They have it in pink and white, but I did notice these planters. So the, that big, huge strawberry thing is to put your plant in. And doesn't this look like that thing from the scary movie that came out where they're grabbing that hand and they're seeing the ghost? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That movie was... <laughs> that movie was not for me. <laughs> no. Okay. This is the rest of the home decor. I'm guessing this is left over from like the holidays as far as the pumpkin ones. But they had a lot, a lot of those strawberry uh, planters. Okay, so as far as like the portraits that they have, this is the only new thing that I've seen. They did have this new flower mini table. I'm going to show you some other tables later on, but this is a marble end table that they have. All right, these are all the cushions that they have. You can put this on your couch, on your bed. I like the strawberry one. I think it is the cutest. Um, they have a lot of the sequin ones. They have that for a while, and I would imagine that it's not comfortable to even be on the skin, but I guess it's just for strictly decor. All right, so you guys know around this time they're bringing out all the bubbles. So these are the bubble blowers that they have. I would say before you buy the big solution at Five Below, check and see how much it is at Walmart. I think Walmart might be a little bit cheaper, but those are some huge bottle of solutions. The rest in this aisle was the typical jump ropes that you see and chalk. Chalk, chalk, and more chalk. So this is like a pizza-shaped chalk that they have. They also have, sorry, that's baby. <laughs> they also have this sunshine rainbow one. They have sprayers. They have egg-shaped ones, um, the kawaii cutie ones. They have just a whole bunch. They still have the Stanley dupe cups, and they also have the spring-themed one now has the cute butterfly and flowers on it. You're going to see a lot of sports items now because, again, it's that time of year. So they have a pretty good selection, I would say. They should be coming out with more later down the line. They do have a lot, a lot of Lego sets, I noticed. And these ones I haven't seen before. So whether it's animals, SpongeBob, Power Rangers back there, the plant-themed one, those definitely look like the... Uh, higher end ones that you see at Target but they have the five below version so I thought that was pretty neat and that was pretty much it for the toy section and the phone accessories I did notice these new suction cup ones and I did spot this Hershey Kisses wireless speaker it is a big Hershey Kiss it even has the Kisses tag at the top so yeah um not too much that I'm seeing they had a bunch of phone grips that were like the sparkly, you know, blinged out ones. I saw some phone charms, which were candy themed. I think I only seen these two. But as far as these, I think we've seen this before. But I'm showing you guys anyways, just in case. They had a lot of AirPod cases, 
We've seen the phone stands before, which was <laughs> which were the chairs. They just have them in different colors. I know a lot of people were uh, talking about them because of the whole Montgomery incident. <laughs> but anywho, the rest is pretty much like the wireless cases. They had the Boba, the Alien. That was pretty much it. They did have these new Hello Kitty hair accessories. Okay, on to store number two. They had more of the shades. I thought the princess one was really cute because it has the crown in the corner. They had these heart uh, sunglasses. These are a little bit different than before um, as far as like the reflected color. So this store is just putting out their Easter items, but I did spot this Peeps nail polish. It's an instant dry one. This is the party cake one and it's very sparkly and pretty. So yeah, this one was just putting out their Easter items, but you are going to spot some new ones. These are really cute hair accessories. I was debating whether to get these for my daughter because they are so cute. I really like that rainbow one. I like these. I love those colors. And the fruit ones, I know she would have loved it. I might go back and get it. So again, it's springtime, so they have their grow kits. So they have rose, they have sage. And these are just the mini ones. They have bigger ones. They have chamomile and they have lavender. Um, they also have some organic ones, which is like lettuce, actually vegetables. This one we've seen a little bit in the Black History Month items. But these are the bigger ones that they have. They have this every year around spring and summer. So these items we have seen before. This is perfect for like a porch, a little balcony, like to sit out there and read a book, those little tables. And this is a new planter. So this is the mushroom one. I showed you guys the strawberry before. So the mushroom is a little bit shorter. They do have these $4 metal planters. And although it looks big on the outside, the metal rings will only hold a small plant unless it's removable, but I don't know. These are the new watches that they have. So it's your popular Disney characters, Pokemon, Minecraft, Sonic, typical characters that you see in Five Below. These are the new lounge pants that I've seen. These are those like paper thin athletic shorts. <laughs> I'm just saying, be careful. <laughs> These are some new flared out pants that they have. These are going for $5 and I'm just showing you that these are pretty thin. So just be aware. <laughs> Look at Five Below having a Soul de Janeiro dupe. <laughs> this is Firming Booty Cream. This actually smells like peach. It smells pretty good actually. These are the rest of the sweet theme sheet masks that they had that I showed you in the last store. Um, they also have the matching facial wipes, which I don't know how good that is for your skin wiping like fragrance on there, but they do have that if you are interested. All right, so I told you I did find the lemon macaron body spray in this one. If you are familiar with Bath & Body Works Ice Lemon Pound Cake Body Spray, this smells very similar. It's just like a watered down version of it. So Five Below scents typically tend to be light, but it, I mean, it's $5. I feel like you can do a little bit better at Bath & Body Works when they go on sale because it'll be around the same price. These are new sipper mugs. These are glass and so are the straws. Just make sure you clean these really good before you actually drink out of them. And then these are some new tic-tac-toe pillows. They have the avocado and the egg on toast. These are really cute for like decorative pillows on kids' beds. To the five and beyond section, they have this body percussion massager. Usually they have massaging, you know, massage guns, but that's I think the first time that I've seen that particular one. All right, so for the Funko Pop, I did spot this Elvis Presley one. I mean, this looks like it's like for collectors. Um, so yeah, if you are an Elvis Presley fan, they have those for $10. Now they do have the some sports stuff out. I think we've seen this before. Um, I haven't seen this. So this is an as seen on TV product. This is the rocket fishing rod and it says you can catch real fish with it. So my own store only had a couple of those. I was looking at these trampolines and you know how people use them for workout videos. I was contemplating on getting one of these. But these are some new vanity tables that they have. They're in the shape of a bow. I've only seen it at my store in black and purple. So moving along to the electronic section, they still have a lot of the portable blenders that they have. I know a lot of people like these. I've personally never tried it myself. I wonder how good it works. So I did spot a new item that I cannot wait to show you guys. They still have some facial steamers, but look, 
these are active smart watches so it actually counts your steps you can get your instant messaging or sms messages I was like, hold up, five below, what? So this works as a Bluetooth. I thought this was really neat for the price. These are the 23-in-1 super games that they have. Normally, like you'll see during the summertime that they have like the name brand one. So look out for those because those ones are a better deal. I was pretty shocked to see this, but they have the Calico Critters house that comes along with the Critter. I've seen this a lot like at Target and at Walmart, but I was shocked to see this here. I know my daughter would love this. All right, so in this phone accessory section at this store, they had a lot of the true wireless cases. Most of them I showed you at the previous store, but they had Care Bears and Harry Potter AirPod cases here. In the workout section, I only spotted this wrist weights. So pretty much the same thing that I'm seeing in the other store. In the book section, I did spot this Wednesday journal, which has the bookmarks at the top. I don't think I've seen this one before. In the candy section, though, they had a lot of gummies. I did see a lot of Sour Patch Kids and flavors that I don't think I've seen before. So they had a blue raspberry, grape, and peach. They also had Skittle gummies, which I don't know where I've been, but I didn't know that even existed. They had them in a lot of different flavors. They had a lot of Pop Rocks, like a lot. I don't think I've seen this much Pop Rocks in Five Below before. And now that I've caught up in a Jujutsu Kaisen and I understand what this finger means, I'm like, why would they have this? <laughs> Comment below if you watch JJK. Anyways, they have this s'more kit and then they have like seaweed snacks. So this is the plain one and they have a teriyaki one as well. They have a lot of Pocky sticks, they have Pretz, and then I've never seen these. So apparently they're filled with like chocolate or cream. And then we always see boba, but they actually have popping bobas now in a can. I don't know how good that is. By the register, they have little stuff that you can stick again in gift baskets. They have mystery bags, like the squishy stuff. I don't know. The squishy stuff that kids like that they don't really need. <laughs> what is a puppy bread? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's what I would call this section. Like, little stuff you can stick in gift baskets or gift bags or whatever. This is pretty much it for this store. The last thing that they had was spring cleaning items by the register. So, let's get into this haul. Hi, YouTube. So, let's get into this haul. I'm so excited. Usually, I don't really show you guys what I get at Five Below, but probably like a handful of times. So, let's get started on what I got. So, I did get Baby this shirt. It's a Sonic shirt and it says, let's go fast. That pretty much sums him up. <laughs> so I thought this was really cute. I love the colors. I think it would look really nice on him. And the kids like Sonic. So another thing that I got him, he loves bubbles. So I got him ugh, this big solution. And the only reason why I got that, like I said, I think that this is actually cheaper at Walmart instead of paying $5. But as you can see, this is a 128 fluid ounce bottle. And I just didn't feel like going to Walmart. I mean, everybody is there. It's usually busy. I just did not feel like going. But I did tell you guys, cheaper at Walmart most likely. So yeah, I got this for his bubble machine. He loves bubbles. Okay, what else did I decide to get? Let's see, let's see. I did get these Kit Kat Lemon Crisp Bars. I think that I've tried this before. I'm pretty sure last spring, because I remember they're having like a lemon themed Kit Kat at Target before. Did we get that? He doesn't remember. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to try it as I'm getting the rest of the sauce. This is good. If you like lemon cookies, this tastes really good. You want to try it? You can get the rest of the kids. All right. <laughs> Sorry. 
This is the next item that I got. So I got the Sour Patch Kids peach flavor. The reason why I got these is because I don't eat candies like with gelatin in it. How to double check the um, ingredients. This has Red 40 in it. Isn't Red 40 the one that they said is not good? I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my husband. He said the Kit Kats were really good. Back when I used to eat stuff with gelatin in it, I really liked the peach rings. And so I know Target has like um like a healthy version of peach rings. They taste okay, they're just not the same. So I wonder how the Sour Patch Kids kind is. So this is what it looks like. It has a nice ombre color. It's like the sugary topping. So let's try that. Babe. Oh, you don't like peach, do you? He said absolutely not. <laughs> These are so good. Yeah, they taste like peach. The kids are going to like these. All right, yeah. So, My Five Below had a lot of these. And it's not mixed with any other flavor except for peach. This is good. Really good. Okay. Let's get into the body butter. So, like, as I said in the video, I got all three. So, I got the gummy bear. I got the cotton candy cupcake. And the lemon, lemon macaron. Let's try the gummy bear first. This is why I couldn't try it in stores. Because it has a seal on it. Sometimes people open it up. I just feel bad about doing it. So yeah, I didn't open it in stores. It does smell like gummy bear. All right. That is the consistency of it. It's not moving. So like I said, this looks pretty thick. So let's see. Oh yeah, guys, that is thick. That is thick, thick. All right, let's try. This is definitely a body butter. Yeah, this smells good. I wish it had a stronger scent. So when you when you smell it straight out of the package, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, did I mess up? Did I get something that smells too light? But once you rub it on your skin, oh my gosh, guys, that is thick. Once you rub it on your skin, it does smell nice. Obviously, you know, with it being this thick of a body butter, you're going to have to layer like a candy set on top of it. But for five below, this is pretty decent because I'm telling you, this is thick. Let's get into the next one, the lemon macaron. And again, this packaging is beautiful, guys. That is how it looks. Pretty, pretty colors. So, yeah, like I said, that is pretty thick. Oh, this smells good. This smells really good. Now, like I said, is it on the level of Bath & Body Works? No, but this is definitely thicker than Bath & Body Works. This is thicker than Tree Hut. This thing is thick. Thick. <laughs> so, yeah, this does smell like a lemon cookie. For, again, four or five below, I feel like that is pretty decent. So, obviously, again, if you want this to smell stronger, you're going to have to spray, you know, a body fragrance on top. But, again, this is pretty decent. And for the last one, we have Cotton Candy Cupcake. This is the beautiful packaging. And let's see, let's see. Oh, I can't get this off. And we're going to try this side. So, again, thick as the other ones. I'm telling you, this is the lightest one. Even though this feels... Oh, did I show you the inside? Even though this feels so thick... I would have thought this would have smelled stronger, but I'm going to keep it because, like I said, this is really moisturizing. 
on the skin but this cotton candy cupcake one is definitely the lightest one so if i had to put them in order like this literally just smells sweet it doesn't tip it doesn't like smell like cupcake it doesn't smell like cotton candy it just smells sweet like sugary sweet a light sugary sweet so if i had to uh rate these I would say this would be number three, the cotton candy cupcake because it's, because it is too light. And then, hmm, I would say the gummy bear number two and then the lemon macaron number one. Both of them are really good except this one has a little bit more scent to it than this one. But both are decent. Like I said, as far as moisturizing, these are really good. But the scent is like, I feel like you could use this and spray the Bath & Body Works lemon pound cake, ice lemon pound cake on top of it. And then this one, there's a lot of scents that are sugary and sweet or smell kind of like gummy bear, including like the new Bath & Body Works Thailand uh kiwi star fruit one i feel like that will go good on top of it and this one pretty much anything sweet you have like i said this one is kind of light so it kind of turns neutral but again moisturizing so is that all that i have that is it for today let me know what you guys plan on picking up from five below they have a lot of new items so thank you for watching and as always have fun stay blessed and happy shopping bye